so in this session we are going to learn about different storage classes so we will study about different types of variables how they are stored so there are four different kinds of variable types so based on their storage and so what we will see here is the scope visibility and lifetime of variables so this is the thing that we are going to see now so based on this we define the four different storage classes the first one is automatic second one is extern external variables static variables and fourth one is register so these are the four storage classes for the variable which we will be learning one by one so let's first look at the automatic class so what is the automatic class about so automatic is the most general default case in which case what happens is that its lifetime is inside the function where it is defined or inside the parenthesis or block where it is defined so let's say i define int main and then I define a variable like int i int j and char c so all these by default are they are all of type automatic so they are all of type automatic and this is equivalent to writing auto int i so what does this auto means so it means that this variable int is only its lifetime is between the execution of these two braces and after that it will not be visible so it's only visible in these two braces so what happens is that even if we call some function it goes to some function so this is not visible there and in fact even if I write int main so let's say I write int i is equal to 1 and int j is equal to 2 so now let's say I write printf percentage d percentage d i comma j. Next, what happens is I open braces, write int i is equal to three, j is equal to four. Now I do print f percentage d percentage d i comma j and finally after coming out of this so i again do print f percentage d percentage d 
i comma j so let's see what will be the output so i will first show you the output and it will be 1 2 then it will be 3 4 and then 1 2 even though because of the printf style it would be something like 1 2 3 4 1 2 so but let's analyze why this is happening so this is happening because of the automatic variable so this inside this block whatever i define int i and j so they are now alive in this these two brackets and hence when i do printf percentage d percentage d i and j so it prints 3 and 4 because this is the value alive and it overshadows this i and this j but so when we do this print it's 1 and 2 is printed when we go into this block so this i and j becomes alive and 3 and 4 are printed but when we go out here so this block is now gone it's not visible now and we come to again i and j which are this i and this j so this was about automatic variables so now let's go to what is static variable so let's go to static variable so static variable is something like let's say I have a function so let's see what happens with the automatic variable so void counter I define a function counter and I do int count is equal to 0 count plus plus so what happens and int count 2 and count 2 plus plus and in fact let's do print f percentage d percentage d count and count 2 so now let's see like I write in int main so and I say that okay let's have I call count then I again call count and then count so what happens is every time so the count is called so let's see the output I I come to so this is counter 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 so I call the counter function three times so it comes here count is equal to zero int count two I do count plus plus count two plus plus and I print so it becomes now so it is one and because this is not initialized so this is some garbage value so let's say 5 was printed and again I go here so again 1 and some random value is printed and some 1 and some random value but our counter so this count is not increasing as many times and I'm calling this function but I want this is because of the automatic nature this variable gets initialized in this function but its value is forgotten after coming to the next function call so what we want is that okay a counter is a function that we want to remember how many times I have called counter using some variable which is inside the 
counter function itself so basically we see that if we define some automatic variable so this gets forgotten when the scope of the function is gone so let's see how to write a function which remembers how many times it is called so what we will do here is we write now again a counter int counter i define static int count is equal to 0 and then i do count plus plus print f percentage d count and then return return 0 so now what happens int main we see that I define so I call count counter first time then counter the second time and counter the third time so what we will see is now that first time when I call this so one is printed then second time when we call two is printed and then third time it's three is printed so we see what's the magic so actually this is because of the static keyword so static keyword is basically this function the so the count variable is now remembered even after the scope of the function goes away so this static int so it is remembered even after the function goes away so when we call counter it goes here first time count now becomes zero and count plus plus so what happens is so this value is now one when we come here after the function even then count variable is remembered now when we go here so it is already initialized this line is not executed count plus plus so it becomes two again when we come back this count is equal to two is remembered we go here and then it becomes three so this is the importance of static variable and in our next lecture we will see about external or global variables and register variables so in to summarize we learned about automatic variables whose scope was within the parenthesis or the block to which it belongs and it can overshadow the outer blocks and about the static variables which are remembered even outside the scope of the functions.